For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to talk about reading an analog input on a CircuitPython device. So here I have an Itsy Bitsy M0, and plugged into it is a soft potentiometer. But the things I'm doing would be the same if you were using a regular potentiometer, a force sense resistor, anything that is an analog input. I have a power and a ground pin connected to the soft pot, and then the center is the signal pin, which is actually acting as a voltage divider. So here you can see, as I adjust the, the position on this soft pot where I'm pressing down on its little resistive material, I am changing the analog output voltage that it's sending, which is being read by the analog input on the itsy bitsy. And then we get a nice smooth graph there, which you can see is correlated to the LED brightness. What's going on when you want to use an analog input? We're importing, the most important things are boards, so we get pin definitions for some of these analog pins, and the analog I.O. Then I'm setting up this soft pot object. It's a variable that is the analog I.O. on board A5, which is where I have this plugged in. Then I'm setting up some LED stuff so that we can drive its brightness. And then in my true loop here, you can see I am reading that soft pot value and just giving that a nice, neat name. So analog value is whatever softpot.value is. And then I print that in my serial monitor, and I'm also then driving the LED duty cycle from that. And so that is how you can read the analog value of a potentiometer, a soft pot, or other analog device in CircuitPython on an analog to digital conversion pin. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.